Vote to Dr. Vincent Brown, formerly known as uh, Virginia, who was joined by his solicitor, Frank Brazel. I started by asking him how he, a man long accused of genocide, felt about standing trial. I welcome the move. Obviously, it has um, been um, frustrated because I, it has taken so long to come this long. And uh, it's not even coming, it is still going on. And, uh, it will, as I have heard, it is going to be in autumn or maybe next year when the law comes in. But uh, what I'm here to do, I want to clear my name. I'm innocent. I'm not a criminal. I was, I was not involved at all. So I welcome the move. It's pretty clear from Jack Straw that this whole change in the law is aimed at you and your co-defendants. Yes. Yeah, okay. I, I talk about on my behalf. I don't talk about the other co-defendants. Co but when he's using phrases like this, these people must face up to their terrible crimes. We will do everything in our power to make them accountable for their actions. He's talking about you. Yes, but what he's talking about is those people have to, to respond to their crimes. But what I'm saying, I was never involved in any crime in 1994 in Rwanda. Uh, all those allegations against me are totally untrue. They are, you're yeah. denying everything. You're denying genocide, conspiracy to genocide, complicity to genocide. I deny all those allegations against me. They are not uh, true. They are uh, pure fabrication. And I've never been involved in any killings or any other crimes in 1994 in Rwanda. Let's look at some of the specifics, because the court papers here allege that you were a leader of the militia, which was to spearhead the slaughter. It's alleged you helped man roadblocks at which people were murdered when they were trying to escape. Yeah, those, are the, those are called allegations. But as you know, my lawyers, they went to Rwanda to do uh, investigations. They found that I was not involved at all in those uh, killings. I have never been on, on, on any roadblock. I was not involved at all in, in those killings. And my lawyer did go to Rwanda to investigate. They found I was not involved. And yet two British courts have found a case to answer against you. Uh, I don't think that is right. The high court uh, judges, and they are, they are very experienced, they are very highly uh, respected. They found that allegations against me uh, cast some doubts, and in some respects, they said some uh, uh, substantial doubts uh, upon the witness statements that the government was relying on against me. But they say there's still a case to answer. You have complete faith in the British justice system? They didn't now? say that. They did not say that. They say because they, it was an extradition case, they said that it, although they are not involved in the trial itself, they said that they have doubt about the witness statements. That's what they said in their judgment. But um, I have faith in the British courts. I'm ready to, to face justice in this country because I think I can get a fair trial in this country. Tell people who are perhaps hearing your story for the first time why you fled Rwanda and why you changed your name. I fled Rwanda in 1994 like other millions because there was a war. And uh, the RPF or even armed forces we are, which are, were engaged in the war were killing people. And uh, I think those people involved in those things should face justice. And yet you came here, you changed your name, and you've carried on working here. I came in here with my name, Vincent Bajinya. I didn't change my name until 2004, when I was granted British citizenship. I changed the name because I wanted to have the same name as a family. We had the, in Rwanda, you can have your children and your wife with several names within one family. So I wanted to have one family in my, in my fa one name in my family so that we can uh, live up to the customs of the new country have, we were in. That's, what, that's why I changed the name. But I didn't change my name to, to avoid any persecution or any prosecution from the one government. And yet there will be people here who find it very uncomfortable that a man with allegations of genocide has come to this country, worked in this country freely, changed his name without ever being prosecuted or tried? I have not been charged of any kind of crimes until 2006. That was almost 12 years later. When I came to this country, I was not charged. I came in the country in 2000. I was not charged. 
Before then, I, I was never charged with any kind of genocide or any crime for the 1994 events. I was only charged in, in December 2006. Before then, I had never been, had never been investigated, as far as I know. There are allegations, I return to some of the specifics, that there were meetings in your bungalow head, uh, held frequently, held with the aim of organising killings. As I said to you before, my lawyers, one of them is here, they went to Rwanda, they didn't find any allegation, they didn't find any uh, suggestion that I was involved in those uh, meetings or those killings or those crimes. I was not a member of any political, any political party, I was, involved in any, I was not involved in any, any uh, propaganda for any political party. Those allegations are totally untrue. What were you doing at the time of the genocide? I was a medical doctor in Rwanda. I was trying to save people, not to take lives. Have you had any indication that this will come to trial? You said you welcome the move. Since 2006, when I was uh, accused of genocide, myself and my lawyers have been asking for a trial in this country because we believe in this justice in this country. So if this law is coming to change, although I'm frustrated it's taking so long and we don't even know when it will come in any effect. But we have been asking for that since 2006. In the interim, uh, you can't be arrested, you remain free. Are you working now or are you surviving on benefits? What, what situation? I'm not on benefits and I'm not working. My wife is working. So we are, I'm relying on the work from my wife. You deny the charges of genocide, yet there are many people in this country who've been campaigning for a long time to see this legal loophole closed, to see you stand trial, who believe there are too many incredibly serious questions of massacres hanging over you. What would you say to them now? Uh, what I can say, those, the allegations against me are very serious. And uh, as I said to you, I, I deny completely those allegations. I was not a murderer, I, I'm not a killer, and uh, I really come to move to stand trial in, country, in this country where I can get a, uh, a fair trial and possibly clear my name. That's what I can say to you. Dr. Brown, thank you very much. Welcome.